Hi everyone, Sensei Derek from Wonderlust Squaw Valley. So we're here to talk about posture and how to have like a, an effective, sustainable, healthy posture while you're going about like your everyday work life. Uh, a little bit about me, I'm a biomechanist, and if you, in case you don't speak Latin, that means that I'm really interested and I study the uh, mechanics of the body. So I'm really interested in helping people move efficiently and effectively and healthily in a sustainable way. So that you can keep doing these practices, whether it be yoga or dance, what, whatever you're into, for the rest of your life. We live these days in, in like a pretty sedentary society, in a pretty sedentary environment. A lot of times we are are in a position at a desk uh, in whatever our, our sort of general stance is for hours at a time and the truth is we see these days uh, sitting is the new smoking right you're sitting desk is killing you the truth is that it's being still is the new smoking or, or you know good the old smoking it's been a problem forever whether you've got a seated desk or you happen to have a standing desk or if you have some sort of lying down situation where you work, it's the act of being still and stationary that is trauma on the body. And, and, and it's really true, the, the body's desperate for movement. We have all of these layers. Um, you've you know, skin and what's something called, something called superficial fascia, which is this connective tissue suit that holds in your fat, your adipose tissues. What we're gonna do is do some movement. We're gonna look at how uh, in your everyday life, in your office job, you can just bring a little bit of healthy, novel, varied movement, which is truly, that's the silver bullet. That's the key. We sit in a shape. Our body rebuilds itself to this shape. The fascia of your, the, the, the sort of fibers of your superficial fascia, they, you know, they metabolize on the front side and they grow more on the back so that we can easily be in the shape that we're in all the time. Your body, your body is, is amazingly intelligent. Uh, I, I say a lot, it's a lot smarter than you are. And what it's trying to do is create the easiest life for you it can. It says, your body is responding to the demands you put on it. You say like, I'm gonna spend eight hours of my day looking just like this. Your body's like, awesome, I got you. I'm gonna rebuild you to look just like that, which is great and, and is what we want. It's not a problem and, until you go to change shape, right? So if I'm sitting on my desk, this is awesome. I'm building a body of this shape. When I go to stand up, we start to, we start to develop problems. That's when we develop pulls and tensions that are ineffective, that are causing dysfunction or discomfort. The simplest, easiest answer is just change your shape. Every 45 minutes, stand up, literally. You're at your desk, save the document, stand up, look around, sit back down, go back about your work. That right there is the simplest, most effective, almost crucial uh, option I can give you, uh, uh, offering I can share. Let's add some more stuff in though. Uh, okay, so one of the issues, one of the difficulties in sitting at the desk becomes lumbar spine, lower back. The, it's a long story, but we could go into it. But your psoas, your deeper hip flexor muscle, which lives sort of on the inside of your thigh and attaches to the front side of your lumbar vertebrae or your lumbar spine. Your lumbar spine being like that lower back part of your spine. When we live in this shape, that psoas muscle starts to actively shorten. Um, again, because your body's like, cool, you want to be there? I got your back. The problem is when we go to stand up. So one of the things we can do is get some release to the lateral rotators or your uh, butt muscles, your glute muscles. Easy peasy choice. You're just gonna take your right ankle or hook it on top of your left knee. If you do practice yoga, you would know this as like an ankle to knee shape. If you were on your back, we would call this a supine pigeon. Uh, but really, hooking the ankle on top of the knee is, is the key. You're gonna turn your foot on. And I like the concept of a dorsi flex or a partial flex of the foot, which is pulling the ankle, the toes back towards your knee and a partial point which is pressing through like the big toe knuckle. Some people call it a Barbie, uh, Barbie foot. Some people call it a floint, it's a weird word, so I never say it, but so dorsiflex is like, is my jam. Spread the toes, press through the big toe knuckle. You kind of like make it feel like your, your ankle is a grappling hook and it's attaching to the outside of, of your base leg. Turning all that on, right, we're sitting at our desk, I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna press my shin down into my root leg and then keeping a lot of extension to the torso just kind of hinge forward. You'll find if you keep the spine upright, your range of motion might be limited compared to if I were to like collapse the hunch. 
but the sensation that you get in the outside of the leg, you know, where your tensor band is, your IT band, all the way to the side of your butt and your lateral rotators, that sensation is going to be a lot stronger, a lot more active. So that's what we're looking for. Push the shin down, lift the chest up, and hinge. Uh, if you happen to have the kind of office where you could do something like stick your leg up on your desk, a great alternative would be, or you know, uh, addition would be to stick your leg up and fold forward. But if you have the kind of office, you're probably super lucky. You know, it might look like this.